Hey, well, welcome back to Daybreak. They have opened the doors, unlocked the studio, and allowed me to step outside. <laughs> <laughs> so we are with the Indie Brew Bus. This is Andy and Megan Bola. Thank you so much for coming out this yeah, morning. And Marcus, it's so, just so convenient that you've joined me for this interview. <laughs> well, you know, every once in a while, they let me come outside, too. And uh, yeah. this just happens to kind of be a subject that interests me well, a little bit. cheers to a great forecast oh, absolutely, that allows right? us to be yeah. outside right now under this blue sky. So, guys, you are in fifth year of operation and we see your green buses around town but if anyone's not familiar what is it that you guys do sure um indie brew bus were indy's original craft brewery so we started five years ago we've been expanding every year now we offer downtown broderful carmel and greenwood tours so each one of our tours you'll go to four different craft um, breweries here in town and get a small sampling um really get a better understanding of the craft brewing process we try to be very educational and intentional with our, our tours so maybe you'll walk away learning something you didn't know when you walked on and these guys just keep growing to they add a bus a year so that's pretty impressive well we've had a lot of breweries that have opened up in the area so we try to Good stay point. fresh <laughs> and uh, offer new things to uh, have people come back or come out and experience for the first time yeah that was gonna be a, that was a question I was gonna have because over five years the landscape of these breweries in Indianapolis has changed Absolutely. dramatically so how has that kind of changed your game plan yeah it's been fun because um, you know like I said being able to stay fresh and having breweries that open up to do different styles of beer or have just a different feel in their tap room it makes our tours more interesting as well so we're able to expand our footprint heading all the way up north side all the way down to Johnson County okay. all the way to Taxman and we've got some award-winning breweries on our tour too so as the beer you know continues to improve and in Indiana yeah. it's amazing um, how many people are excited to come in and taste something that has maybe one you know an amazing award right. on a national level yeah we're really proud of this industry and just seeing it bloom and really explode over the last few years and just these cans alone that you have out here show several of the breweries in town so how does it work you go you're able to go to all these different places but if I'm wanting to sign up and I want to go to Greenwood it can I say I want to go to these breweries, or do you already have it structured? We pretty much have a set list on our website um, that tells you where you want to go, but you can base your decision based off the list. That makes um, sense. But all of our Johnson County breweries are all in one tour together. So if you knew you wanted to hit, um, you know, the South Side and go yeah. to Taxman, go all the way down to Burgersville, then you could you could jump on that tour. Um, the reason for that is really because we have great relationships with our breweries, so we set up times with them, and they know that they we're coming, and they can give our riders a great experience, and we can get get in there and really show them the uh, equipment in the back, etc. Well, sure, it's a benefit for not only you guys but yeah. for the breweries as well because you're Absolutely. bringing new taste buds to, to these breweries yeah new yeah. taste buds it's a way to get in see a place that maybe you've had their beer out at a restaurant but you haven't seen their their facility and you know a lot of these facilities are having um, you know events and different things that are very fun to go back and see so if I'm doing a birthday party bachelorette party this seems like an we, easy way to fill up a do. bus but do you have to do a, a big enough group to fill a bus or can you join nope. a bunch of strangers most of our tours run with small groups of strangers. Okay. And by the end of it, they come out great, great friends. I'm yeah. sure. Here. Um, we do um, obviously do large tours. We do a lot of birthday parties, bachelorette parties, things like that. Um, it holds up to 14 passengers. Um, but if you have, you know, one, two, three people in town, you'll just buy a ticket and you'll just join other beer lovers on the bus. So that's how most of them operate. And it's a great way to get to different neighborhoods, too. If you have mm -hmm. people in town that haven't seen Fountain Square or haven't seen a lot of the mm -hmm. other areas, you can see them. And one of the things that we're doing uh, new is we're adding a cidery and uh, meadery tour as well. So for those oh. people who maybe um, are as into craft beer, they're just starting sure. out, or maybe they want some gluten-free options. Yep. So. All right, so. well, guys, thanks. <laughs> so, <laughs> <they're> great. <laughs> so we're just going to hang out. <laughs> no, actually, we're unfortunately out of time. But congratulations yes, on all of your absolutely. success. Thank you. Uh, really great to see a, a locally owned business supporting other locals yes. and mm -hmm. expanding and growing. So we have more Daybreak after this. I do have to go back into the studio. Uh, <laughs>